What's up everyone, Influenced LA here, and today we have our rankings for the 17 live action projects Marvel Studios has coming out over the next three and a half years through the close of phase six in November, 2025. These rankings will not include any rumored projects, only projects officially confirmed by Marvel Studios. Wasting no time, we have the Disney Plus series Echo coming in at number 17. We briefly met the character in the Hawkeye series, but it seems there is not too much overall excitement for the show itself. More the inevitable appearance of Daredevil and Kingpin are the selling points so far. Coming in at number 16 is the Marvel's movie, and with rumors and reports part of this movie will be a musical, it definitely warrants being the lowest movie on our rankings. Agatha Coven of Chaos, the Disney Plus series, takes our number 15 spot as we enjoyed Agatha in WandaVision, however with little details regarding the show, it is hard to expect exactly how a show like this will turn out, basing it off a previous side character from another show. Hopefully we see the show expand more witchcraft in the MCU. The Disney Plus series Ironheart comes in at number 14 and could go up based on how Riri Williams, the star of the series, does in her MCU debut in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Number 13 is Loki Season 2. The only live action Disney Plus series to score a second season so far, this highly anticipated project started filming last month and will look to follow up on the smashing success of Loki Season 1. At number 12 is the Thunderbolts movie in what is expected to see the payoff of Val popping up throughout Phase 4 recruiting. It will also be the movie to close Phase 5, so it should have a big impact in some way. Secret Invasion comes in at number 11. The series will have a good amount of big time actors and actresses, including the likes of Samuel L. Jackson and Amelia Clark. We will see who was potentially scrolls this entire time in the MCU, so it will definitely not be a series to miss. Now kicking off our top 10, at number 10 is She-Hulk. Attorney at Law, the Disney Plus series releases in just a few weeks and so far looks like it could not only be different, fun and engaging, but the potential for multiple cameos is very high. We will be sure to tune in every week not to miss any of them. Our number 9 ranking goes to Blade, with two time Academy Award winning actor Mahershaw Ali set to play the Vampire Hunter, we eagerly await our first look whenever it may arrive. At number 8 is Captain America New World Order, the first time we will see Anthony Mackie officially suit up as Cap on the big screen. We can hope Sebastian Stan returns to play Bucky and all will be looking promising for this movie. Our number 7 ranking goes to Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Of course this movie will not only have the responsibility of closing out phase 4, but will try to honor the memory of Chadwick Boseman in the most respectful way possible. The trailer released at Comic Con shows they are up to the task and we can't wait to see it in November. Avengers The Kang Dynasty comes in at number 6, being the first Avengers movie since Endgame is a huge deal and they officially have a director set as Shang-Chi director Destin Daniel Cretton will helm the highly anticipated project. Only question really is who will actually make up the Avengers lineup. Of course, we don't get to number 6 without first starting the journey with our number 5 ranking Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Our number 5 is set to open phase 5 and start laying the groundwork and will be the first time we encounter Kang the Conqueror on the big screen. It will for sure be a game changer. Our number 4 ranking is Daredevil Born Again. 18 episodes? How can we not be excited given Charlie Cox will be back as Daredevil, Vincent D'Onofrio will be back as Kingpin, rumors of John Bernthal's Punisher returning, and so much more. Oh yeah, did we mention 18 episodes? That's just for one season. Coming in at number 3 is The Fantastic Four. With being the movie to kick off Phase 6, it will of course have huge implications across the entire MCU. Rumors continue to run wild on who will be casted as Marvel's first family, but hopefully we will finally get confirmation at the D23 Expo in September. Here's to hoping John Krasinski is still Reed Richards. Our number 2 ranking is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. James Gunn knows how to get emotion out of us, and with this being the last time we see this iteration of the Guardians together, make sure to bring tissues as it will be one emotional ride, a ride that not all our Guardians will survive, unfortunately. 
And topping off our rankings, the number one project coming out of Marvel Studios will be Avengers Secret Wars, and what will be the culmination of phases 4 through 6 and the entire multiverse saga, this is the movie that will be the end game level of hype. We could potentially see any superhero from any Marvel live action project ever coming together and teaming up to save the day. It will be surreal, absolutely mind blowing, and just unbelievable if it is executed on the potential scale it can be. And those are our rankings for the 17 live action projects Marvel Studios is releasing. What are your thoughts? Any rankings you would change? Make sure to comment and tell us your rankings down below. We will have more news and updates regarding the latest in Marvel and Hollywood later this week. So subscribe and like this video and ring the bell notification so you can stay updated and not outdated.